Hello and welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. I'm Glenn and today we're going to be looking at the all new version of the 420 Boston Wheeler Outrage. This particular model is rigged with triple 600 horsepower V12 Mercury Verado outboards. We got to do a walkthrough and a test ride of this incredible boat at Mercury's Lake X when they premiered their 600 horsepower outboards. Now we got to do a brief walkthrough on the boat but unfortunately didn't get to see what the cabin looks like on this new model because it wasn't finished at the time of filming. You can see photos and video of the cabin at bostonwhaler.com. So let's get going, sit back and enjoy the ride. Welcome aboard the 420 Outrage. We're here at the premiere of the Verado launch at Lake X. And one of the things that we see here are the 600 horsepower Verado engines that are now complementing our lineup of engines for the 420 Outrage. One of the first things that I'd like to point out is the ease of maintenance of these engines. So right now, if I come here to the hood, push a button, that opens the hood, and that's going to display to us the dipstick, the oil filter, the oil fill, the transmission dips uh, stick. And if I look over here on the starboard side, we also have the ports for draining the hydraulic fluid from the lower unit. This is really going to simplify the services that we're talking about, 200-hour service intervals. That's impressive. As we come up to the bow of the boat, the other area that I'd like to talk about today is the new throttle control. The throttle control now incorporates a single button for staggered start, uh, which is very, very, very nice when we're getting the boat ready to go. But it also has our throttle only transfer buttons for upper stations our one lever operation button, and then the brightness control for the display. That's complemented by an active trim switch right here on the side. So sir, some of us that have to, happen to run boats out in heavy weather, this new control pad offers us the ability to rest our palms and really get in control of the boat while working the throttle up and down the waves. So this is a very, very greatly improved area. Now, forward of this, we have individual trim buttons right here at my fingertips. And on the aft part of the controller, we have individual start and stop. But the sequencing of start of the three engines right here is one of the key functions. Okay. One of the other things we're gonna notice is that the neutral light has now been moved to the top of the control. Prior to that, it was kind of down below, and it was sometimes difficult to see. So there's been some great improvement to the throttle control on the 600 Mercury Verado. Um, to the right of it, we have a traditional joystick piloting module uh, with our autopilot, skyhook, and track. These are things that we have become quite accustomed to on other Mercury products. Now, on this 420 Outrage, uh, we are showing our new... Uh, Wood grain uh, accenting throughout the boat, as you can see here in the helm area. Uh, it does have a black uh, powder coated frame and pillars, which is uh, new for the lineup in 2020. Uh, and as we move forward, we see some of our more normal features on the boat, more popular features on the boat, uh, which is the uh, bow lounge area, which is very popular for the families. Uh, the full teak table there with its uh, articulating table base. This area of the boat here is really just a wonderful area whether you're fishing or relaxing with the family. As we work back to the helm area, uh, we just saw the three seats across at the helm station, but we also have a leaning post behind them. And when we uh, look at this leaning post, we'll see that we have air conditioning vents uh, that blow up into the area. However, we can convert this leaning post into another sitting area by certainly rotating it around and deploying a rear, a forward-facing seat. 
Now what's really nice about this seat is that we have the ability to put some more guests here at the same eye level as the operator of the boat. So you're not looking at the back of somebody's seat when you're underway. Once we put this seat away, it reveals another one of the gems of the 420 RH, which is our prep and grill area. Here we have a sink, 45 gallon bait jacuzzi, and a grill. Very nice. So that's just a quick tour of the 420 Outrage. I would invite you to go to bostonwhaler.com for more information. We have just launched a new website last week. Look forward to seeing you there. So after the walkthrough, we got ready and headed out onto Lake X for a test ride. One thing that became immediately obvious is how quiet these motors were, both shifting and at idle speeds.
impressive. All right, so the next part, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the boat into um, Skyhook. And uh, we push the Skyhook button. Um, one of the things that uh, we immediately notice is that the uh, engines aren't articulating, which we, we've seen that before. And um, now with the uh, gear shifting is so much smoother than it has been in the past. It just locks in and holds its position. Yeah. So, so you easy. don't even hear it shifting or nothing. Yeah. It's and the sound level is just remarkably low. It's incredible. It really is. And then the other thing you get, like in South Florida or anywhere in Florida, you have bridges. Or right. if you want to change your heading, you just spin the joystick a little bit and we'll spin over. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, just give it a good tune yeah. into the wash there. So if we go into the wash. Using the joystick, boom, back it goes in back, back into Skyhook. Fantastic. It just locks that heading, that's it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, you don't hear, hear it or see it doing anything. No, not at all. It's amazing. So, keeping the center of gravity of the engines uh, in line with the boat just stabilizes the entire platform. Right. What's your total weight of the engines then, with the three engines on there? Uh, each one weighs about 1,280 to 1,300 pounds, so we're at about 3,900 okay. in engine. So power to weight ratio, that's that's very good because, you know, to get that kind of horsepower... That kind of horsepower and pushing a 32,000 pound boat through right. the water at 60 plus miles an hour. Right, that's impressive.
No, that's, that's awesome. Thanks so much for riding with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the other videos we have in this series. And remember to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when more and upcoming videos are available for you to see. Again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.